Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed some problems on page 53. There was a homework. Let us check the answer now. Find all angles of the hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F. Let us look at the figure at first. Angle E, F, D equal to 30 degree. Therefore, angle E, A, D is also equal to 30 degree because they are angles on the same arc. In the same way, angle F E A equal to 40 degree. Therefore, angle F D A is also equal to 40 degree. Now, angle F D E equal to 35 degree. Therefore, angle F A E is also equal to 35 degree. Angle B A C equal to 40 degree. Therefore, angle B D C is also equal to 40 degree. Angle A B D equal to 62 degree. Therefore, angle A C D is also equal to 62 degree. Angle A C B equal to 35 degree. Therefore, angle A D B is also equal to 35 degree. Now look at the code AE. This code divides the circle into two parts. Now look at angle ADE. This angle is on this arc and its measurement is 40 plus 35 or 75 degree. Therefore, angle AFE equal to 105 degree because angle AFE and angle ADE are angles on the alternate arcs and they are supplementary. So this angle is 105 degree and this part is 30 degree. Therefore this angle, angle AFD is equal to 75 degree. Therefore angle AED is also equal to 75 degree. Now look at the code AC. This code divides the circle into two arcs. Angle ADC and angle ABC are angles on the alternate arcs. Therefore, they are supplementary. And angle ADC equal to 75 degree. Therefore, angle ABC is 105 degree. But angle ABD is 62 degree. Therefore, angle CBD equal to 43 degree. Since angle CBD is equal to 43 degree, angle CAD is also equal to 43 degree. Now we can find all the angles of the hexagon. Angle A equal to 35 plus 30 plus 43 plus 40 and that is equal to 148 degree. Angle B equal to 62 plus 43 degree and that is equal to 105 degree. Angle C equal to 35 plus 62 that is equal to 97 degree. Angle D equal to 35 plus 40 plus 35 plus 40 and that is equal to 150 degree. Angle E equal to 40 plus 75 that is equal to 115 degree. Angle F is equal to 30 plus 75 that is equal to 105 degree. In each problem below, draw a circle and a code to divide it into two parts such that the parts are as specified. All angles on one part 80 degree. Second, all angles on one part 110 degree. Third, all angles on one part half of all angles on the other. Fourth, all angles on one part one and a half times the angles on the other. We have to draw a circle and a code in such a way that all angles on one part is 80 degree. Let us draw a circle at first. Now make 160 degree angle at the center. Join AB. 
since angle AOB equal to 160 degree, all angles on the large arc AB is 80 degree. Here all angles on one part should be 110 degree. Then all angles on the other part is 70 degree. So let us draw a circle and make 140 degree at the center. Join A and B to get the code AB. Since angle AOB is 140 degree, all angles on the large arc AB is 70 degree and therefore all angles on the small arc AB is 110 degree. Third part, all angles on one part, half of all angles on the other. Here all angles on one part should be half of all angles on the other. Let angle on one part be x degree. Then angle on the other part or angle on the alternate arc is x by 2 degree. We know some of the angles on one arc and on its alternate arc is 180 degree. Therefore x plus x by 2 equal to 180 degree. x plus x by 2 equal to 3x by 2. Therefore, this can be written as 3x by 2 equal to 180 degree. Now, 3x by 2 means 3 by 2 into x. Therefore, to find x, 180 should be divided by 3 by 2. And division by 3 by 2 equal to multiplication by the reciprocal. Therefore, we can say x equal to 180 into 2 by 3. Now, we can simplify. 1, 3 is 3 and 63 is 180. 60 into 2 is 120. Therefore, the value of x is 120. Then the angle on the other part or angle on the alternate arc is 60 degree. Therefore, we have to take the angles as 120 degree and 60 degree. Then the central angles are 240 degree and 120 degree. Therefore, we can draw a circle and we can take 120 degree at the center and make an angle. Then the other central angle will be 240 degree. Draw a circle and make an angle of 120 degree at the center. Now join AB. Since angle AOB equal to 120 degree, all angles on the large arc is 60 degree. Therefore, all angles on the small arc AB is 120 degree. Fourth part, all angles on one part, one and a half times the angles on the other. Let angle on one part be x degree. Then angle on the other part or angle on the alternate arc is one and a half times x. We know some of the angles on an arc and on its alternate arc is 180 degree. Therefore, x plus one and a half x equal to 180 degree. 2 into 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. Therefore, one and a half x is equal to 3x by 2. So this can be written as x plus 3x by 2 equal to 180. 2 into x is 2x. 2x plus 3x is 5x. Therefore, adding we can write 5x by 2 equal to 180. 5x by 2 is 5 by 2 into x. Therefore, x equal to 180 divided by 5 by 2 or 180 into 2 by 5. 1 5 is 5. 36 fives are 180. 36 into 2 is 72. Therefore, the value of x is 72. Then angle on the alternate arc or angle on the other part is 1 and half into 72. That means 72 plus half of 72. Half of 72 is 36. 
72 plus 36 is 108 degree. Then the angles are 72 degree and 108 degree. Therefore, the central angles will be 144 degree and 216 degree. So, let us draw a circle and take an angle of 144 degree at the center. Draw a circle and make an angle of 144 degree at the center. Join AB. Since angle AOB is 144 degree, all angles on the large arc AB is 72 degree. And therefore, all angles on the small arc AB is 108 degree. Another problem. A road bent into an angle is placed with its corner at the center of a circle. And it is found that 1 by 10 of the circle lies within it. If it is placed with its corner on another circle, what part of the circle would be within it? A road is bent and made this angle and it is placed at the center of the circle. Then this length is 1 by 10 of the total circle. Now the same angle is placed on another circle like this. We have to find what part of this circle is this part. This is 1 by 10 of the total circle. Therefore, this angle is 1 by 10 of the total angle. What is the total angle here? That is 360 degree. Therefore, this angle is 1 by 10 of 360. That is, central angle in this figure is 1 by 10 of 360 or 360 into 1 by 10 and that is equal to 36 degree. The same angle is placed on this circle. Therefore, this angle is also equal to 36 degree. This angle is the angle made by this arc on its alternate arc. It is half its central angle. How can you find the central angle? Join the ends of the arc to the center of the circle like this. Since this angle is 36 degree, the central angle is 72 degree. This angle is 72 degree and the total angle is 360 degree. Therefore, this angle is 72 by 360 of the total angle and therefore, the length of this arc is 72 by 360 of the whole circle. Now 2 into 36 is 72 and 10 into 36 is 360. So this can be written as 2 by 10. Again we can simplify by 2 we get 1 by 5. So this length is 1 by 5 of the whole circle. Today we have done some problems on page 54. Now there is a homework. In the picture O is the center of the circle and A, B, C are points on it. Prove that angle O, A, C plus angle A, B, C equal to 90 degree. In the next video we shall discuss the remaining problems. Till then, bye.